The female economy is projected to be the world's largest emerging market with the potential to add $12 trillion to global GDP by 2025, according to the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor. But due to several gender-specific challenges, the African Development Bank estimates a $20 billion financing gap for African women, causing the growth of their businesses to suffer. This reality, amongst other bottlenecks, have led platforms like social enterprise Lionesses of Africa to empower, support and grow the next generation of women entrepreneurs across the continent. On its inaugural visit to Nigeria, the platform's founder Melanie Hawkin hosted a Lionesses Lean In Breakfast event in partnership with Sigma Pensions to engage its Nigerian community and explore newer areas of impacts. New Central was there to interact with the partnering platforms, stakeholders and attendees. I am hugely passionate about how we support the growth and development of Africa's women entrepreneurs because I genuinely believe that's how we're going to drive the economy of this incredible continent that I've called home for the past 18 years. And I'm passionate about women entrepreneurs because I've been one for pretty much all my life and I know how hard it is. And when I first came to Africa, I realized it was even tougher for women entrepreneurs here on the continent and we have to change that. And we can change it as a collective of amazing women entrepreneurs supporting one another, doing business with one another, mentoring one another, but importantly, getting the world to set up and take notice and actually say buy from women entrepreneurs. Let's actually see how we drive a continent success story by supporting women in business. I would hear the same message every single country I go to. Two challenges, access to markets, access to funding. And I'm a great believer, if you sort out the first one, the access to markets piece, the funding takes care of itself because you're selling product, you're selling services. So for us, if we can really help to get women exposure, to be able to showcase what they do, profile them on our platforms, connect them to our incredible global network. I mean, I talk about the 900,000 plus women entrepreneurs in 54 African countries. That's a huge market to do business with. If you don't do business with anybody else apart from the Lionesses network, that's a lot of potential business and a lot of potential money. But by connecting all of these amazing women entrepreneurs to global markets, we're based in New York, we're based in London, we're based in South Africa, we are opening even more branches this year. By opening up these markets, it means we can showcase more women, give them access to opportunity, get products and services into connected into retail opportunities in these countries. That's how you grow these women businesses, by doing business and, and selling products. One of our strategic intent is to have more women um, entrepreneurs join our network. We provide pensions to um, workers, but more importantly, we realize that women are starting businesses, and these businesses are largely in the informal sector. Um, the entrepreneurs, they have struggles with raising capital, you know, with management, with structuring their business. And we thought that we should partner, partner with Lions of Africa to organize this leaning event where they share ideas with successful female entrepreneurs. Um, the objective is to help them build their business, to create jobs and ultimately to partner with Sigma Pension in providing pension plans for their workers. Well, the Lioness of Africa has done so well. And for me, the importance of this is the opportunity it's given to female entrepreneurs to be heard and to um, scale up their businesses. Um, one of the things that impressed me was the one minute pitch opportunity that was given to women randomly chosen from across the room. And, and, and when you are able to come up at very short notice to speak convincingly about your business, it's one of the strengths that you need to have as an entrepreneur. Future lies, first of all, in technology, because technology has the solution to a lot of our problems, including the problem of access, low access to finance. Um, future also lies in women creating platforms that enable us to support one another. So women helping one another, encouraging one another, promoting one another, very importantly, doing business with one another. And so the future also lies with intra-Africa trade. And one of the initiatives that I'm so excited about, of course, is the AFTA agreement, which will enable women to hopefully sell to others across the continent. The female economy is is going. To, it is one of the fastest growing markets in the world, and uh, African women are are known to be entrepreneurs and our job is to take them one step further, to take the businesses one step further so that they're able to grow, to, to have inclusive growth and also then to create jobs. 
I think it's a fantastic platform. I mean, you can see the, the this, this, the energy in the room that we had today, which is fantastic. I mean, it's bringing women of all women entrepreneurs of all sizes. I mean, we saw a woman here that have got one just you know just one job you know that they're them by themselves all the way through to these really big corporations.